Okay, a little pivot into the film industry again. This is some music from the film A Theory of Everything, music by Johan Johansson. So uh, what I think I'll do with this tutorial is I'll put the whole thing on YouTube. You know, normally I'll have little segments, but this one is quite concise, quite short. It's easy to teach, it's easy to learn, and it's this wonderful little gateway for anybody that's just getting into piano. It's not at all difficult, but it's incredibly satisfying to play. It's very melancholic and introspective. Uh, let me introduce to you by playing maybe the first 10, 15 seconds of it, and then I'll teach you how to play the whole thing yourself. So here it is, a model of the universe. see there's a lot of repetition we can take advantage of and even though there are time signature changes in the piece you don't really feel them as you're learning it because it's sort of structured around each one of these swells each one of these little mini uh, phrases okay so uh, yeah let's begin with uh, the first of these swells before I do please consider subscribing to the channel if you like what I'm doing and hitting that notification bell really means a lot shows the YouTube algorithm that you like this stuff, that it's worth promoting, and uh, it helps me to uh, grow this thing, grow the channel. All right, with that said, here is the first bar. Left hand couldn't be simpler, right? We have G below, G above with the first finger, and then finish with a second on D. The right hand, we have five and one, alternating. And we have four notes in the right hand for every one note in the left. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Get the picture. And that's basically it. That's all there is to it. You have the pedal down to start so that all the sounds blend together. Moving on, next bar. Left hand first, we have F below, F above with the first finger, D again with the second, and we finish on the same F that we started on. The right hand we have four and one. Same pattern, four in the right for one in the left. It sort of disappears as you get to the end of it. Moving on. Left hand first. D in the bottom, D up top, and A in the middle. The right hand is two and five. Now notice that we're actually beginning with the bottom note. For the previous bars, you were playing the top note first, right? And then top note first here. Then here we have the bottom note first. Not too shabby, right? Next bar, everything moves up. And in the right hand, the top note will play first again. The left hand in this bar, we have five on the E flat. E flat above, and second finger, the finish. In the 
next bar, the right hand is going to remain the same, just instead of playing 5 to 1, it's going to be 5 to 2, and F in the bottom. Right? F below, F above, and C to finish. And as I said, 5 to 2. And the bar that follows that will be 5 to 3. So you can see that a pattern emerges. 5, 1, and then 5, 2, and then 5, 3. And in the left hand, for all of that, we had E flat. Move up to F. And then move up to G. So let me play it from here again. shabby right okay so I'll play the whole thing through and I'll give you where the pedal changes are as you might expect the pedal changes occur wherever a new swell begins so pedal down we'll begin for the beginning change Each one of those pedal changes signifies a change in harmony. And yeah, that's basically it. There's not that much to it. Now we move into the next section, but I think I'll continue that in the next half of the tutorial, which will be, again, free to all on YouTube. So have a look for it in the related videos, or if you don't have it there, just go on my channel and type in doot, 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 a model of the universe, and you'll find them both. Okay, let's move on. I'll see you in just a bit.